Americans now eligible for COVID-19 quote unquote booster shots. We'll deal with that name later, right? Uh, they'll be eligible in the days ahead. More than 13 million of those folks are 65 or older. All right, Dr. Ashton. Late last night, we got official word from the CDC, from their independent advisory council on, on immunization practices. Uh, and here's what they said in terms of this third dose. Now, remember, we're only talking right now about the Pfizer vaccine. They unanimously approved it for people 65 years of age and older if they are more than six months after their second dose. They also approved it for adults 50 through 64 years of age with an underlying medical condition if they're more than six months after their second dose and then also approving it for people 18 through 49 years of age which with an underlying medical condition if on advice of their health care provider the benefits outweigh the risks of another dose and then also approved for people ages 18 through 64 with high occupational risk exposure so these are very broad categories the devil is in the details we'll see who actually falls into these categories in the days we considered fully vaccinated. Six months, months, eight months, yep. months. And you've been asking me this I question have. for the last several weeks now. The CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, addressed this very point yesterday, and she said, at this point, you are considered fully vaccinated if you are 14 days or more after the single dose J and J or 14 days or more after the Pfizer or Moderna. However, she left a lot of room open for the future for things to change. So it may change down the road and we may hear, guess what, if you're a year after your full doses, you may not be considered fully vaccinated anymore. But right now, things have not changed. Don't think I miss how you started that answer. At this point, Yes, so things are probably going to change. Correct. Talk with Dr. Fauci on our ABC town hall on vaccines yesterday, and he told me that they have been studying in clinical trials the so-called mixing and matching, where people take vaccines from one manufacturer and then get a, a booster dose with another. He said they could be releasing that data as early as the next three weeks, and that will be a relief for a lot of people who, either for access or choice, want to do their own mixing and matching.